So whenever I thought about people just up and moving their lives to an entirely different country, I thought I loved that idea. But for me, in the idea that I had planned for my life, it didn't work. Uh, it would be impossible for me to leave for a year or two because I was going to medical school. I had been accepted to medical school, uh, so everything was just really falling into place. But I think what really opened my, my heart and my mind to the idea of going for the sake of the gospel uh, was my discipler for a, a short season, Chrissy Shin, who had actually stinted here in Cote d'Ivoire. At the end of our semester together, she, she said, Kristen, I want you to come to Cote d'Ivoire with me. And I said, that's not possible. I would if I could, but I can't. And I think it was more of an excuse than anything. Like, I, my heart had always been open to it, but I wanted to have a reason to say no, and medical school was my reason. Even still, as I was thinking about going and trying to decide uh, what God wanted for me and what, what, how He was going to use my life, um, it was still just a lot of looking for excuses. For instance, my parents weren't crazy about me coming to Cote d'Ivoire. Finances was another thing. I thought there's absolutely no way I can raise this amount of money. It was crazy how one after another God just removed every excuse that I had. And I think what really did it for me, uh, the scripture that just really changed my heart, changed my decision for this, is in Matthew 24. The last thing that he says is that the gospel will be preached as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. Yeah, there was just a lot of clarification that I received from the Lord after um, I had realized through scripture, through prayer, through seeking um, wise counsel, it was just almost a no-brainer for me. This is what the Lord had for me. Um, and a wise man once told me that there's nothing that will bring you greater joy than living in the will that God has for you. And I can say for certain, 100%, that I have never been more joyful in a season that God has me in than right now. And I want you all to be a part of this. I want you to come experience it, even though it's uncomfortable. Um, but you're going to be uncomfortable everywhere. So if you're going to be uncomfortable, you might as well be uncomfortable in the will of God because then at least you'll be joyful. Take it to God, see what He has for you, uh, and I guarantee that you won't be disappointed if you end up coming on stint with me. Okay.